Hey you, this video is a loving kindness meditation from Recovery Dharma. If you don't know what Recovery Dharma is, it's a Buddhist inspired sobriety program. There's a free book you can get at recoverydharma.org, the website. This meditation should be good for anyone, whether you're in recovery or Recovery Dharma or not. Um, I'm going to do a quick reading from the Recovery Dharma book to contextualize the subject of this meditation. When practicing loving kindness, we can honestly hope that everyone finds a way to be happy without causing harm. Wishing this goodwill towards others frees us from the reactivity and anger that can come when we focus on the person's behavior or what we think they ought to do. We can begin to see the suffering and pain that somebody experiences as a result of their actions and care about that pain, even if it might also lead to pain for us or for others. Our wish is that all beings are free from pain and suffering, that they escape hatred and fear, that they are at ease and that they find happiness. So this meditation will last a little over 20 minutes It'll start with one ring of the bell. And when you hear the ring of the bell at the end, you'll know the meditation is over and you can take your time slowly returning to the world and opening your eyes. Thank you for participating in this meditation and I hope to see you around Recovery Dharma if recovering from addictions is something you're hoping to do. So finding a comfortable but alert position in which to sit. Allowing your eyes to be gently closed. Resting your hands comfortably on your legs or in your lap. Paying attention to the body. See if there are any minor adjustments that will help you maintain the position for the duration of the meditation. When we can find stillness in our bodies, it helps support stillness in our minds as well. We'll start with a few minutes of concentration practice to help our minds settle and arrive in our present time experience. So allow your breathing to be natural, seeing where in the body you can feel the breath most easily. Maybe it's in the chest and shoulders where you can notice the expansion and contraction as the body inhales and exhales. Maybe it's in the nose, where you can feel cool air coming in and the subtle warmth as the body exhales. Breathing in. Just bring a gentle awareness to the breath. Breathing out, be aware of the breath leaving the body.
Like everyone else, you may notice the mind wandering. While a wandering mind might not be what we were hoping for, noticing it offers us an opportunity to cultivate mindfulness and concentration. Each time we notice the mind wandering, we're strengthening our ability to recognize our present experience. Each time we bring the mind back to the breath, we strengthen our ability to concentrate. Treat these moments as opportunities rather than problems. Then continue observing your breath in and out. Now, we'll begin the practice of offering words of love and care, known as metta in Buddhism. We start by offering loving kindness to ourselves, because the ability to love ourselves is crucial to being able to offer it fully to others. Breathing gently, repeat silently to yourself, the following phrases or any other phrases of your choosing that communicate a kind and friendly intention. May I feel safe and loved. May I be free from suffering. May I be happy and content. May I live at ease. Keep repeating these phrases over and over to yourself with as much sincerity as you can. Perhaps picturing yourself receiving the words and the feelings behind them. May I feel safe and loved. May I be free from suffering. May I be happy and content.
Feelings contrary to love and kindness, like irritation or doubt, may come up for you. If this happens, be patient with yourself, allowing whatever arises to be received in a spirit of kindness, and then simply return to the phrases. If offering these wishes to yourself is difficult, it can be helpful to picture yourself as a child receiving this love. Our young, innocent selves, so deserving of well wishes, just as we are now. May you feel safe and loved. May you be free from suffering. May you be happy and content. May you live at ease. In the next stage of this practice, we send our well wishes to a benevolent person. So letting go of wishing yourself well, bring to mind someone who has benefited you or been especially kind. This may be a loved one, a friend, a teacher or mentor, or even a beloved pet. As this benevolent being comes to mind, tune in to your natural desire to see them happy, free from suffering, and at ease with life. Begin offering them the same phrases of loving kindness and care. May you feel safe and loved. May you be free from suffering. May you be happy and content.
If you find your mind wandering into stories, worries, or plans, simply take note that it has happened. Then return to the phrases, holding the subject of your well-wishing in your mind. Now, letting go of wishing this person well, we move on to the next stage of the practice. Think of somebody whom you find difficult or toward whom you feel resentment, hurt, or jealousy. You may not want to pick the most difficult person in your life. Instead, Choose someone who is currently agitating or annoying you. Again, offer the phrases of loving kindness, being aware that just as you wish to be happy and free from harm, so do even the most difficult or troublesome people. May you, too, feel safe and loved. May you be free from suffering. May you be happy and content. May you too live at ease. Moving on from this difficult person, we can continue expanding our well wishes outward, spreading out to include our family, 
our friends, our community. We can send love to our city, our states and provinces, our countries. Without giving anything up, we can expand our well wishes to all beings on earth. Notice the immense depth and possibility of your own heart as you offer these phrases to everyone, everywhere. May all beings feel safe and loved. May we all be free from suffering. May we be happy and content. And may all beings live at ease. Now, letting go of thoughts of others, return your focus to your own body and heart. Notice any discomfort or tension you are experiencing. And also notice if you're experiencing any new lightness or relaxation. Appreciate the fact that you've taken this time to cultivate positive, loving emotions. Growing your ability to respond to life and those around you with care and understanding.